kids, welcome to today's lesson. We're going to finish up our lesson on the book of Acts. In this series, we learned about the power of the Holy Spirit and the early church. We learned how the Holy Spirit is the helper from God who gives us strength and helps us make the right choices. In our Bibles, it says in John chapter 16, verse 7, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away, for if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. The Holy Spirit came after Jesus died on the cross. Jesus, who is God, came down to earth and he willingly died for our sins. He died on the cross, then rose back again on the third day. Now we have the Holy Spirit, who was our helper, advocate, and comforter. God is so good to us. Before we head to our next lesson, do you know what's next? That's right, let's worship God by singing to him. Stand up, shake those arms and legs, and let's get ready to sing. Hey guys, welcome to Kids Church. In preparation for worship, I want you guys to all stand up, okay? And you're gonna follow along with me with some crazy actions. All right, okay, so let, we're gonna see how high we can all jump. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five. All right, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch our toes. Five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now we're going to reach. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Okay, and for our final stretch today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run around with our knees really, really high. Okay, so we're gonna count to five. One, two, Three, four, five. Oh man, I'm tired. All right, let's go to worship. This song is called I Know I Belong. It's about how when we belong in God's family, he gives us great power to do amazing things. So we're gonna start out by singing, your love, your love is worth living for. Let's sing it out together. Here we go. Your love, your love is worth living for. Your grace paid my way. Your mercy gives me the power to forgive like you forget. I'll stand, I'll stand when it's hard, Lord. I know you're on my side. You send me out to be a witness with power from on high. Sing, I know I belong. I know I belong, I know I belong to you. Let's sing that out again. I know I belong. I know I belong, I know I belong. All right, you guys, sing out, I know I belong. I know I belong, I know I belong to you. And one more time, as loud as you can. I know I belong. I'll stand, I'll stand when it's hard, Lord. So let's all stomp our feet together. You guys ready? Here we go. Have you guys singing that song. Now you probably know our memory verse really well by now. Shout it out if you do. That's right. It's found in Acts 1.8. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses everywhere. 
One last time, let's dance and sing along to our memory verse song. going to play a game called Ask a Pastor. I have invited Pastor Michelle to join me for this segment, and I'm going to ask her questions while she stuffs her face with marshmallows. So far, we've had Pastor Josh and Pastor David, so let's see how Michelle will do. Make sure to cheer her on. Here's how it works. Before she answers each question, she has to put a marshmallow inside her mouth. If she can answer 10 questions, she wins the challenge and is deemed the new Ask a Pastor champion for this week. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Take your first one. What's your favorite plant? Fig leaf. Okay, next one. Summer or fall? Summer. <laughs> Say, hubba bubba wubba woo woo woo. Hubba <laughs> woo 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 woo. Say, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> You're doing great. Name the fruits of the spirit. <laughs> Close enough. Um, what's your favorite Bible character? Mm. Cool. Pool or beach? <laughs> mm. What's your husband's name? Mm. Cool. I think I think I got that. Uh, what's your favorite singer? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. What's the weirdest word that you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah, weird word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for Michelle. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Did I win? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Do you remember some of the stories in the books of Acts we've learned so far? We've gone through Peter being put in prison. We've learned about Paul's life and how God had changed his life. We also learned about Priscilla and Aquila and how they had to leave the city they lived in, but shared about the goodness of God and so much more. Today, we're learning about Paul's adventures and how he was shipwrecked. 
Our lesson can be found in Acts chapters 27 and 28. Let's watch a video lesson to learn about Paul's shipwreck. Paul was taken as a prisoner in Jerusalem. On their way to Rome, Paul and his fellow prisoners, along with the ship's crew, had been shipwrecked on an island called Malta and cared for by the islanders. After three months on Malta, they boarded another ship and continued their journey. Eventually, the ship did arrive in Rome. The disciples had heard that Paul was coming, so many of them went to the port to meet him and travel back to Rome with Paul. These men encouraged Paul and he thanked God for them. Paul needed such encouragement as it was a very difficult journey. In Rome, Paul was allowed to stay in a house he had rented and receive visitors. He was still a prisoner, so a soldier guarded him. This didn't stop him from preaching the gospel. First, Paul called the chief Jews to come to his home. He explained he had committed no crime and he wanted them to know he was bound with this chain because of the hope of Israel. They said they wanted to hear about his Christian faith that all the people were talking against. They set a time to meet and discuss this. When the day came, many more people came to the place where Paul was staying. He talked to them from morning until evening about the kingdom of God and tried to convince them about Jesus. Some believed the things he taught them, some did not. Paul told them their reaction was predicted by the prophet Isaiah. Their hearts were hard, and they had closed their eyes and their ears to God's truth. He explained, Therefore, I want you to know that God's salvation has been sent to the Gentiles and they will listen. Paul's first calling was to speak to Jews, to share Jesus' resurrection and salvation through grace. But they wouldn't listen and were always against him. So Paul committed to speaking only to non-Jews, people called Gentiles. Paul was able to live in this rented house for two years where he spent his time teaching about the kingdom of God and about Jesus. Wow, do you think Paul had an easy or hard life as a Christian? Paul definitely had his ups and downs during his walk with God. He had a lot of moments that were filled with joy, but there were also lots of times that were hard, like we see with him in his adventures and his shipwreck. In our story, in Acts chapters 27 and 28, we see that Paul got bitten by a snake, but God protected him. We see in the story how many people were worried if they were going to live through the shipwreck, but not one person died. God protected the men in the ship and Paul. But even though life was difficult and hard, Paul continued to serve God and was led by the Holy Spirit. To be led by the Holy Spirit is to be guided by God. He gives us wisdom and helps us make the right choices. Well. We're getting close to the end of our lesson today. If you have your Bibles, journals, or workbooks, go grab them. Here are some questions for you. Go ahead and write them in your journals to reflect on our lesson today and what God is speaking to you. In our lesson video, we saw that Paul was healed. Is there anyone that you know that is sick that we can ask God to heal? Here and now. encouraged others on the ship while they were scared. How can you encourage your friends and family today? Let's ask and pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to help us make the right choices and learn to love Jesus more in our lives. Thank you for joining us. See you next week. I'll